beautiful people how are you i hope you all are doing good and welcome back to another video today i am back with another amazing custom bomb for our admin note 11 and this time it is the uh, proton plus ui let me show you its detail as you can see here it is based on the android 13 security patch is all the latest uh, 5 october 2022 and the proton plus ui version is 13.1 which is the stable build as they mentioned it in the title this rom is pretty much stable today in this video i will be reviewing it out and i will also show you how you can install it and i will also show you its geekbench scores so without any further ado let's get started but before starting the video make sure to subscribe my channel this rom is all the way latest and stable there is no any single bug or issue everything is just working fine as you can see here the animations are also played very well everything is just working fine and uh, there is no any single bug or issue in this ROM. Um, well, data is working for support. Every single setting and option is working fine in this ROM. And uh, uh, the performance of this ROM is also pretty much cool. Let's try its, its camera. But in, in this ROM, we don't have any installed camera <laughs> right in the ROM. I don't know why uh, they don't added any camera into, into this ROM. As you can see here, there is no any single camera applications pre-installed in this ROM. But don't worry, you can download a uh, Google camera or any other camera from our website like 925mods.com or you can also go into the Play Store and from here you have to type open camera and search and from here you have to install this out. I will also provide its the download link in the description box. After getting downloaded, just click on open and from here you have to allow the permissions. After allowing the permissions, your camera is ready to be used. You can use it for capturing photos, recording videos, and you can do a lot of stuff using this camera application. And if you want Gcam, I already said you uh, go on our website 925modes.com and from there you can download it out. Then the application would don't have a lot of junky applications pre-installed right here as you can see here. We don't even have the Google camera. Uh, from this you can uh, imagine how clean this room is. And uh, let me show you the Geekbench results and uh, I just uh, made a run before starting this video from here you can check the Geekbench score and it just scored uh, 381 on the single score and it scored 1649 on multi-core so as you can see here from here you can check uh, all the details and uh, this score is not pretty much impressive but still it is good to be used as daily driver and you can also do the gaming on this ROM. The display we don't have any option to, to set the maximum or minimum refresh rate to 90Hz or 60Hz or by default maybe it is on the 60Hz but it is working pretty much smoothly so so I am not pretty much sure if it is 90Hz or 60Hz so by the way in the settings we don't have a lot of customizations we have just simple options like pixel experience roms and in the battery the battery performance of this rom is also pretty much good from here you can access the battery manager battery saver and the battery usage you can also enable the battery percentage for status bar and then we have storage sound and vibration we don't have any uh, sound enhancing technology but you can enable the in call vibrations and other than that we have security in the security we have all security options working like fingerprint is working and all other screen locks are working pretty much fine but for now we don't have the face unlock in this room maybe it will be added in the uh, future updates and in the uh, security here we have the google update you can update it out by yourself from here as you can see here you can download and install the update it is only 10 kb so after it we have location privacy and other options and in the system we have languages and input live translation gestures in the gesture we have swipe three finger for screenshot uh, quickly open camera system navigation bar one handed mode which is working pretty much cool you can simply operate the whole screen by using only one hand and then we have quick torch press and hold power button tap to sleep then we have uh, date and time backup system updates rules reset options maybe you will not up, uh, get any update because it is not the official build but still i am not sure 
and from the about phone you can check your android version uh, security patch update which is 5 october 2022 and the android version is 13 and uh, yes this rom is pretty much stable and you can use this rom as your daily driver and if you want to use this rom as your daily driver you just have to download the rom from the link in the description and after downloading the rom uh, the installation process is pretty much simple like other roms you just have to reboot your device into an installed custom recovery by pressing and holding power button plus volume up button right now i am using T twrp recovery and if you have not installed it yet then you can watch my video from the link in the description So after downloading the ROM, you just have to store the ROM into any external uh, storage like SD card or uh, external hard drive. I am using the external hard drive. So just mount it out from the settings. After mounting it, just go to wipe, click on format data and from here you have to type yes, click on the stick button and your data will be formatted. So remember to take the backup first. After formatting the data, go back to home, click on install. And from here you have to locate your downloaded Proton Plus uh, custom ROM. Mine is right here Proton Plus 13.1 stable for space. Just click on it and flash it right from there. After flashing it you just have to go into the advance. Then you have to click on flash current TWRP to make the TWRP recovery permanent on a newly installed custom ROM. Just swipe it right from here. So after following these steps you just have to go, you just have to click on reboot and click on system so within a few seconds the rom will be booted up on your redmi note 11 so hope you guys like this video if you really did hit the like button don't forget to subscribe my channel keep supporting thanks for watching peace